So I attended the Glenn Burns um, public lecture about how you, like, you know, unique blends of science fact and science fiction inspire generations of astronomers. Um, so the reason I actually chose this one is because as a kid, the only weatherman I ever watched was Glenn Burns. Um, and he was the only news guy I actually really knew of and loved. Um, so when I heard that he was coming, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go see this. So it was more of a personal thing, um, just for the fact that he was almost that celebrity when I was a child and I had decided I wanted to meet him. So he talked a lot about, you know, how Star Trek inspired generations to think outside the box and to understand the idea of like endless possibilities. Um, also something he did discuss was how, you know, Star Trek was all about, you know, equality too, in the sense that there were different genders. There were males and females in a time where maybe females weren't considered to be engineers or be in those roles. Um, on top of that, it also included different races and ethnicities, which I thought was super interesting. Um, he also, aside from Star Trek and, and the way it affected astronomy, he talk, like a good amount of his talk was about you know himself and his personal life and how he became the expert in his field um, that he is today. So what did I learn that I didn't already know? Um, I think it was how much Star Trek actually did impact scientists, uh, something that I think is was really interesting to me that I didn't know was that one of the first major aircrafts was called the Enterprise after the Star Trek uh, spacecraft. So I thought it was really neat. Um, also, I learned that Glenn Burns is a pretty cool dude. He told us a lot of interesting stories about himself and he knows a lot of cool people. Like I think he said he knows uh, Spock, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, and he also knows Jaeger, who was the first guy to break the sound barrier. So that's pretty cool. What did I learn that I already knew? I guess that I already knew that fiction would affect the real life, like the real world and how people interact. Like for instance, I'm a huge superhero fan. And so that always inspires me to be a better person. Um, was there something in a lecture that really sparked my curiosity? Most definitely. His whole present, I mean, space in general is just incredibly interesting. But I think that the thing that was really kind of funny and interesting to me was Glenn Burns was talking about this one fishing trip he took and how something he like he went out alone and then something really crazy happened and how he was like it was like out of this world but he basically told us that he doesn't think we're alone um in the universe which i'm not really surprised about but i thought it was really cool he kind of mentioned aliens um so i thought that was really interesting i mean aliens are always like cool and stuff uh and so that was really neat because it, it actually made me want to go to the observatory afterwards and i did and i thought it was really neat and then did I follow up on this topic outside of the lecture? So kind of in the sense that I actually reached out to Glenn Burns via Facebook and asking him if he wanted to come to the like the Atlanta Science March. And he responded and he said he does and he wanted to. And so I asked him to come with Georgia Tech students and he said he would love to. So that was really neat that I was able to talk to him and on a personal level because I went to this lecture. But yeah, overall, I thought it was a really great experience and I would love for him to come back again.